All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Josh Weiner um, from Maxar, and uh, I want to thank you all for sharing five minutes of your Saturday morning with me. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about using satellite imagery with OSM to plan, to explore, and to relive your adventures in the outdoors. So three years ago, I had this idea. I wanted to ride my bike across Florida. Usually people look at me and they're like, why would you want to do that? Um, I think Florida gets a, a unique reputation in our country, and so I wanted to explore some of the, uh, the less charted parts of it. So I first thing I wanted to do was build a route. Uh, so I said, I'm going to look at kind of my identity as a adventure-seeking person and my role at a satellite company and figure out how I can put these things together. Um, so I had this route, I had it in mind, but I had one problem. There was this area called Babcock Ranch that borders uh, Lake Okeechobee to the east and the Gulf of Mexico to the west, and it's pretty uncharted. Uh, there's not a lot of activity there in heat maps that I was able to find, and so I wanted to figure out if I'd be able to explore this 70,000-acre uh, conservation corridor, which had the biggest potential for adventure and wildlife um, and, and kind of unique opportunity along the ride. So I wanted to use my resources. The first thing I did was look at Strava's heat map, and I noticed that when everybody travels west through the town of Muse, Florida on Loblolly Road, they all head south right at Babcock Ranch instead of heading west through it. And I couldn't figure out why because it looked like such a cool place to explore. So I first thing I did, of course, was call the ranger station. And the ranger said, we absolutely allow biking in Babcock Ranch, but I have no idea what that intersection looks like. I don't know if there's a gate there. I don't know why nobody ever rides through it. And so I wasn't satisfied. I took to the internet. Um, I'm 42, so I used Facebook. And I asked some people in a Florida gravel group, why does nobody ride through this section of Babcock Ranch? Is it, is it rideable? And the best response I got was, hey, I looked at some satellite imagery, and it looks like a really nice gravel road. But it wasn't able to answer the question, was there a gate or not? So I took to ID Editor and wanted to see what was mapped um, within OpenStreetMap. Looking at the satellite image, um, I was really not able to determine whether or not there was a gate there, but when I overlaid the vector data, what gave me a lot of confidence was that there was a gate marked on a road to the north, and there was not a gate marked on the road west, which I was trying to explore. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go for it. I committed, and when I got there, I found 30 miles of the most beautiful, pristine limestone gravel that I've ever biked on. It was really awesome. So anyway, uh, that was my kind of fun journey into combining some satellite imagery with heat map and, and routing information in OSM. Um, I'm telling the story because I work for Maxar, which is the satellite imagery behind every great map that we like to say. Uh, we have six satellites that orbit the planet every day. Uh, we have four more launching later this year. And with those images, the three and a half million square kilometers we collect every day, we stitch those into these mosaics that become available within ID Editor through our partners like Esri, Mapbox, Microsoft. And we take 400,000 of these different images every year and we stitch them together in a seamless mosaic. So here you can see the greater Salt Lake City area. And as you zoom out to broader Utah, you can see how all these images are stitched together to create a cloud-free, seamless mosaic of the world. And this is the imagery that's available worldwide within, within ID. Um, so when you plan for an adventure in the outdoors, satellite imagery provides a very unique context um, to enhance the vector data that is available in all the different mapping applications, whether it's looking at a campground in Gaia, which you can't really see it mapped, but when you click, you can see one of my favorite campsites in Western Colorado that shall remain unnamed and unmapped, in my opinion. Um, FATMAP, uh, complementing some of the uh, terrain data with satellite imagery to get better context for safely navigating in the winter. Um, in Onyx, for guide mountaineering, exploring places like Long's Peak, um, and an MTB project, identifying features on trails that are not fully mapped yet, but looking forward to seeing the improvements to um, the open trail maps. Uh, I love this quote. Uh, I, I discovered this one back at State of the Map New York in like 2015, this notion of creating this Borgian map that is a one-to-one -one scale. And until we get there, which 
we might. Um, satellite imagery provides a really unique perspective that, that kind of enhances what we can see. Um, and then of course, it gives you a great way to, um, to relive your experience. Um, so I think I'm at time, so I'm gonna call it there, but thank you very much.